Another really nice feature that I almost forgot to mention is the Play 2 feature. This only is available if you're using Windows Media Center with the Xbox. What you can do is if you have your music up, for example, I have a couple songs here or one song here. And if I right click on the song and I select Play 2 and I select Xbox Media Center, this window pops up. It says that it's contacting. And as you can see, the song begins to load on the Xbox and begins playing without me having to touch the Xbox. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you have to make sure that your Windows Media Player or Windows Media Center is open on the Xbox. So if Media Center is not open on the Xbox, that Play 2 option will disappear. It will not work. So Media Center has to be open in order for you to use this feature, but it's pretty nice. Instead of having to dig through, if you have thousands of songs, instead of having to dig through them with a Media Player which is, or a Media Center with a remote control, which is not very convenient, you can just find them on your computer and tell them to play too. And if I wanted to add another song, for example, let's add, um, I don't know, um, let's add some Frank Sinatra. So I'll take this and I will open my play two thing and I can take this song here and drag it into the playlist so I can create this playlist. And if I click next, this is the next song that you see start playing on the Xbox. So this is very nice if you want to play music through your media center, you can control it from your computer. Now to build upon that, another thing that you can do is you can also play to or use the play to with the files themselves directly. So here are some videos that I've recorded. And if I right click on them, notice the play to option also appears. And I can say play to media extender right here through this. Um, I can do the same thing for music files. If I click this and say play to media extender, it will play it on the media on the media extender the play to menu will appear and disappear whenever it senses the um media extender being available sometimes you have to open media player right here windows media player in order to send it to media extender sometimes not so i found it to not always work but uh when it is working it's a very nice feature to have available